you know, can you permanently degenerate these things, your, your tendon or a little bundle, or like how, how does that work, and how do you know if you've probably done that to yourself? For sure. What do, you, what do you do? So imagine I'm gonna take a cut through this way now. So the way we look at fibers, a really strong tendon, the reason it's strong is that all the tendon fibers are in line. So they create this nice, straight, wonderful, strong in, um, grouping. Now, when this starts getting irritated, say this guy, these guys got a little bit pissed off and they're, they're, they're getting irritated and they, we're not loading them as well. What will happen, sorry, I'm just gonna erase this other stuff. What will happen is that instead of being nice straight lines, they actually start wiggling. So they aren't, they aren't able to handle as much stress. So the wiggle fibers, essentially every time you load them, they get pulled on a little bit more. They can't absorb as much energy. And it's kind of a, unfortunately, it's a, like a cycle. So because it's not loading properly, they actually get more irritated. So then these guys will get all irritated as well. And if this lasts for a long enough time, what will happen to these one is that they will wiggle to the point where they are just useless. And then that's when you see, essentially it's a chronic tear. So these guys could still be good, but those ones will wiggle to the point where they don't absorb any load. And then there's gonna be a lot of swelling in and around the, the tendon area. And that essentially becomes a tear. So it's a degenerative stage. The research is still very ongoing. This is still very new, but what we're seeing is that we can't necessarily just regrow all the tendon completely together. Um, that's why a lot of treatments that we do may not be successful because we're not necessarily rehealing these fibers. So there are other means to treat it, but this, we're really trying to prevent this from happening. And, but if we do get to that point, we have to keep loading it in a safe way and a low enough level that it's not irritating it until we can get it so that it's just wiggled and then slowly build up from there. But tendons take a long time to heal and regenerate. And we're not looking at a few months now, we're looking at potentially a few years before the tendon's fully repaired. Um, and that's if we were even getting to that point. So it's, uh, it's one that we really wanna be more protective of and make sure that the tendons are healing quite, quite well while they're showing up. So you don't wanna wait a year and then treat your tendon, you wanna try to get it treated as soon as possible.